Welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's Door Transfer, everybody. So in the last episode, we finally made it to Bifrost and got Light of Destruction and got Light Swords. One thing I want to clarify is that I don't plan on using Light Swords for the entire Let's Play for this Let's Play. Okay, I just want to clarify that because I got a comment saying like, are you going to do this again for like the third Let's Play in a row? Uh, the answer is no. Uh, because I know that part of being a Let's Play is actually doing things that are kind of like funny, unique in every Let's Play compared to another. Obviously, it would be kind of boring if I were to do it again. I'm doing it now because I don't really have access to a bunch of cards right now, as you can clearly tell. I don't know when I'll be switching over, but once I actually get enough cards to make another deck and just switch to it for, for some fun, um, yeah, you know, then I can, of course, you know, switch to that deck. But I will say that the post-game of this is actually ridiculously hard, that sometimes you have to run decks that are really good, like Light Swarms or Twilight, because I haven't kind of said this, but the post-game... Uh, the opponents actually use banned cards. They're allowed to use banned cards and you're not and that really breaks the game against you Which is why you want to have the best possible deck and not some gimmick rope like deck, you know, you want to have like The best meta deck at the time in 2010, you know, if you want to get through those so it's a little difficult to like decide what to do but Yeah, whatever. All right, so here we go. So here's my last- oh my god, really? What the fuck is this? Okay. Um, I'm gonna start by summoning Jane. Okay, and... I need a turn. So here comes Jane's effect. Gonna go ahead and send two, that's already one. Uh, light torn in the graveyard, that's pretty cool I suppose. I suppose... Alright, what you doing? You are setting a card. Okay. Oh my god, what the hell is this? What? Well, I just lost my Lumina. Well, that thing is a minus one, though, for you, so you know what? I'll take it. What the fuck was that? Hold on, what is that card? Slug one monster, you control size of graveyard, and send one random card. Yeah, that's a bad card. <laughs> White magical hat. Oh my god, you have a hand destruction? Okay, okay, I see. I see how it is. I'm gonna go ahead and summon Eren, Light Sworn Monk. And let's just go ahead and swing for 3,400 damage. Okay. 16, followed by 18 with my Jane. Oh my god, man. That time when I did that unboxing of, um, of, uh, oh god, I can't even think right now. When I did the unboxing of that one deck, uh, I believe it was Wave of Light. No, was it? No, no. Drag Dragons Collide. I think it was Dragons Collide. Yeah, and I saw Jane and all these lights. I was like, oh, that's freaking awesome. You know, like, actually having these cards, like, physically on hand. Because I use them in the video games all the time, but I didn't have those, like, physical copies because I hadn't bought Yu-Gi-Oh cards or gotten Yu-Gi-Oh cards, like, in years and years, you know? Goblin Recon Squad? You can look at one random card in your opponent. If it is a spell card, send it to the graveyard. If this card attacks, it needs to discard battle position. Okay, cool. So that's fine. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and summon Crabons. I don't think it's worth tribute summoning quite yet. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, enter the battle phase here. And swing. For some damage. Okay. But yeah, you know, um... And then there's actually another deck that I'm going to be unboxing very soon. Um, and it has light ones in it as well. I don't know if you can, you can probably figure out what it is. Another structure deck that I'm doing. But yeah, that's another random thing I want to add. Um, if you also, if you like Yu-Gi-Oh a lot and more than just watching Let's Plays of Yu-Gi-Oh, but actually like watch, like, um, like watching unboxing videos and stuff, I recommend um, watching some of those structure deck openings that I do every now and then. You know, um, obviously it's a very different mechanic than you know, than these kinds of things. It's a very different type of video and stuff. What the hell? Are you gonna disc- Oh god. What are you doing? Don't get rid of Caius, please. That's fine, I guess. Because I... I'm going to tribute Krebons for Caius. And banish that card. What the hell is that? I can't tell what that is. Decayed Commander, oh, that thing, okay. Swing for 18 and that's game. But yeah, you know, those structure deck um, unboxings, I upload like, eh, I mean, recently, 
It's been kind of random sometimes. I try to do it like once every four days or so to put one of those, but it's also hard to keep up with them in addition to all this. But if, if you want to watch some unboxings, and especially if you collect a physical card game as well and you want to see what these contain, um, a good alternative obviously to watch YouTube videos of that kind of stuff instead of just like going online and researching all this stuff, you know, and seeing what they have. Just watch a video and you can actually see every single card, you know, that in the structure deck, which is the whole purpose of those types of unboxings that I do, you know, so I can showcase that to all of you, so... Yeah, I recommend that. Okay. So I'm gonna have to... One, two, three, four, five... Yeah, that's not gonna be... See, because that thing is a one... Wait, what the... What the hell is down there? I can't even... Hmm. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to just... Freed the Brave Wanderer. Okay. I have to actually do the roulette again. So this is gonna make a bunch of stuff disappear, sadly. Yep, they're all gone. That's really unfortunate. Here's Ransborg. Okay. Come forth. Come forth. Alrighty, well. Here we go. The A forces. Okay. Defense mode. Face down. And that's it. Draw. Hmm. What should I do here? Should I summon breaker? What the hell is that? Oh my god. Maybe I shouldn't summon breaker. I got a plan. Oh, if, if only that card was face up, you know? I'm gonna summon Jane and just swing for an attack. And hopefully next turn my monster survives so I can tribute summon for Mobius and then just blow up your spells and traps. Okay, that didn't work. Never mind. Alright, screw this. Screw this bullshit. I'm out of here. Just want to end the turn. Alright, so here come the A-forces. Oh my god, you're gonna flip them and attack me for two monsters with two monsters, and I'm gonna take a shit ton of damage this turn. That's a Mystic Swordsman. It's a nut oh my god. Are you serious? Well, that's not good. So that, that thing is basically a 1900 attacker, huh? I got a plan. I can just brain control you. That's fine. That's okay. Oh no. No, that's fine. Because I got Mobius. I can brain control you and then summon Mobius. Alright, so Breaker's gonna have to wait. Alright, here comes brain control. I'm gonna pay 800 light points. Give me this thing. Give me this piece of shit. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Summon for Mobius. The Frost Monarch. Oh my god, isn't it amazing how this turn I'm going to basically destroy all four of your cards on your side of the field? Man, that's crazy. Was that another... Dude! You gotta stop that. Alright. Let's go ahead and attack you and deal a shit ton of damage. And by shit ton, I mean like 1300. Or 1500, I can't add. Oh my god. Okay. Main phase 2. Set this amazing Mirror Force card. That's still freaking... Limited in 2010 because it was so good back in the day, but now nobody uses it anymore because it's shitty. The warrior turning alive. Okay. You're taking your Mystic Swordsman level 4 back. The cool thing for me is that that card cannot be normal summoned, Mystic Swordsman level 4. You have to flip summon it. Um, or I guess do something else, I suppose. That's fine too. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and summon Eren. And let's go and use your effect here. So if this card attacks a defense position monster, uh, before damage calculation, it just goes back into the deck. And shuffled. There we go. And then you can attack for 2400. Also, I don't know if by that wording of that, does it actually like... Does it trigger a flip effect? Aaron? If it attacks? I don't know. I really don't know if it does or not. I have no idea. Okay, so there's something exit we got a lot. I'm just gonna go ahead and use Mirror Force because why not, right? Let's do that. And if you set some back row, I have Breaker the Magical Warrior, so I'm good regardless. I can also tribute them for Celestia. Or nothing because you literally played nothing else. 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and summon you, Slate Warrior. Let's go with some of that. Attack for 1900. And attack for that. There we go. Bam! That's it. That's game. Rensborg has been defeated. Yes. I like that. 1,030 DP. My level bonus is 480 now. That's, that's like insane. In such a good way, of course, you know? In such a great way. Okay, I have to go defeat Hunter, though. I mean, I don't have to, but it definitely helps. Hmm. What the hell? Well, I have to go... I can only go down that way, right? Wait, so where the hell's the end? I don't even know. No, why is it so hard to freaking... Okay, there we go. No. I have to run all the way back here. Hmm. A duel? Yes. Once again, you don't have to, but because I'm doing a let's play, I'm trying to show everything off. I'm doing all these duels here, you know? I'm doing them all so I can just keep progressing the story slowly but surely. That's kind of what's cool, I guess, about these games, that there's no, like, world championship mode, you know? You just play the story and that's it. I guess World Championship mode is kind of like free duel, but not really at the same time. Because you don't really unlock stuff in free duel mode, you know? Like World Championship mode. Alright, I'm going to start by summoning Jane once again, sure. Let's go with that. Let's also set that one there. And that's it. I feel so good with backward removal now. You know, I have my Break of the Magical Warrior, I have my two Lilas, I have Mobius, I have MST, I have Heavy Storm. I am set. I am great for back removal. It's crazy. Defense mode. Two face downs? No. No way. Ooh, another Jane. I'm gonna MST one of these because why the hell not? Let's go ahead and just pop that one. What do you got? Dimensional prison. You freaking jerk. Alright. Let's summon. <coughs> god damn it. <coughs> oh my god. I'm dying over here. I'm actually good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Let's attack. That's fine. And end of turn. Alright, what do you have now? Let's see. Face down, defense. Is that it? And if, ooh, two face down cards. Oh man. This guy's stepping it up, huh? Oh shit, what do I do now? This sucks. I'm just gonna attack and then set Raikou on main base too. I don't, I don't want to risk summoning another monster getting blown up by a stupid mirror force. Or that. Well, that's fine. I'll just go in defense mode, sure. Oh wait, I didn't even realize I have... I haven't drawn a solar recharge yet, huh? Shit. Oh, whoops, I'm in the, I'm the wrong phase here. Main phase two. Let's go ahead and set this card. And the turn. Mill a couple more. Mill two more cards. Let's see what I get here. Plague spreader and another solar recharge. Okay. What? No. I needed that. Shit. I should, you know, I really should have set Toronto Tribute now. So what if I run into some problems? Oh, no. Here comes the onslaught. Okay, so obviously I'm going to destroy Flying Chemical Carry 1 with my Raikou. Because that card is going to float in battle, and I don't want that to happen. Destroy a card? Hell yeah, destroy a card. What the hell kind of question is that, game? Alright, Flying Chemical Carry 1. Boom, you're destroyed. And, ooh, and I get a wolf. That's some amazing shit right there. Hell yeah. There's my wolf. Okay, what are you doing? Setting a card? Oh my god, this guy is with freaking trolley moves. Alright, here we go. Hmm... Do I dare attack and get Mirror Force? What if you have a Mirror Force? You know what? I'm not going to risk it because here's the thing. Even if it's a Mirror Force, it's fine. It's all good because I can then fissure you in main phase too. You're a freaking troll, dude. Oh my god. At least it wasn't a Mirror Force. But here's what I'm going to do because I don't want you to attack my wolf. I'm going to fissure you because now I'm like, I'm fine now, you know? I'm going to also set my DD Warrior Lady. I'm going to set that. Not that I'm really going to use it if you summon something, but just in case. 
because now you have nothing on your field and in your hand so you're basically relying on top decking and this game doesn't seem as rigged as world championship games so it's fine you got a reinforcement of the army oh man i'm gonna lose my wolf i don't want to try to tribute because if i do it it's not worth it it's not i'd rather just lose my wolf it's fine whatever kill me yeah who cares All right, draw Celestia. Uh, too bad I can't use the effect right now because I don't have a light torn on the field. Again, Celestia effect only activates if you tribute summon, um, if you tribute a light torn for its tribute summon. If you tribute like a DD Warrior Lady, it's not gonna work. That shit ain't gonna work. Attack with Jane. Always attack with Jane to a monster because you get a bonus 300 uh, light point damage to the opponent, which is cool. Um, well, I mean, when you're attacking, at least an attack position monster. For defense position, it can still help because you do get a bonus attack to try to run over a defense. So, like, if I'm fighting a 2,000 defense monster, Jane can beat it because Jane goes into 2,100. And if it's an attack mode, it's better to attack with Jane still regardless because you do a bonus 300 damage to the opponent. So, it helps, you know? I'm actually going to solar recharge right now. Hopefully I can, I can get another level 4 lower monster. Damn it, I didn't. Oh well. I guess I'll set that, sure. Um, enter battle phase here, and that means that next turn I should be able to win regardless. Unless you make a major comeback with something that you draw, but I don't really foresee that. You are Hunter Pace, and not Surter with your cheap-ass Gemini comebacks, you know? So... We got this. I'm pretty sure we got this. Yeah, that's it. Alright, cool. So that's game for me. Oh my god, another spell card. Alright, and let's go ahead and enter battle phase here. Always attack with the weakest one when the opponent's field is empty, because of gores. Now, I haven't fought a gores yet. That was funny, because like the whole time when I was playing this game, I was like, I wonder when I'll encounter the first mirror force of the game, you know? And eventually I did encounter it, and I was like, holy shit. But now I'm waiting for other cards, like, when am I going to see a gores, you know? When am I going to see a... Uh, have I actually seen a Torrential Tribute? I'm pretty sure I... I've seen him, but I don't think they've used it against me. Like, I've destroyed them face down, but I haven't actually used them. Alright, let's go ahead and move. Uh, we can actually only move one. Because these things take three spaces each. Ooh, a ten. Um, yeah, let's move. No, go, go, go down. Go down again, then that way, then that way. Then that way, sure. This is the only way I can go now. Wait. What the f- Wait a minute. Did I just ruin this? Wait, wh why can't- wh Why isn't that working? Hold on. Oh my god, freaking stupid shit game. Okay, god damn it. Dude, I was literally pressing. I was like, wait, why isn't it letting me go? Oh my god. Are you a duelist over here? You are. Pride of the... Did that say mediocre? Okay, I must have read that wrong. I don't think that's what it said, but I might be wrong. Let's see. Let's see what this bullshit said. Don't copy my scissors. Scissors is my move. Nervin, I swear to god. Okay. What are you doing? Alright, I'm going first. Cool. I like going first. Me like going first. It is. Pride of the Mediocre is your damn name. Oh my god. Well, we know who's winning this duel. Obviously him, you know, because he's so prideful. That's why. I'm just kidding. Well, actually, uh, I got a pretty shitty hand, but I did get... Well, no, I didn't because I got Solar Recharge. But if I didn't have a Solar Recharge, that would actually have been a really shitty hand. Not that that was much better. I'm going to keep the Solar Recharge, though, because... If I can actually um, protect my Raikou, but if, if you summon a 1500 attacker or more monster, I can protect my Raikou, flip a next turn, pop a card, and then tribute for Celestia to pop two more cards, depending on how many actually you place on the field. Let's see. Wait, seriously? Really? Well, you know, I, I, I think I want to save my Celestia in that case. 
I'm just gonna pop one of these. Okay. Order to charge. You know what? Fuck it. Just, just go like this. I want to save it for when I can actually pop two. I really doubt you have a mirror for us, you know? Let's see what you got. Minus 16. And the minus 200 right there. And I think I am going to set the mirror for us just in case we do summon a weak monster. I can still destroy it. Then I can tribute my Raikou next turn for Celestia to pop at least one more card. I'm going to summon Celestia next turn unless I get a beatdown monster this turn. So let's actually see what happens though. Okay. Yeah, that's actually perfect. Oh my god. Well, that's a little too much in terms of plays. Holy shit. Okay. Ooh, I got a Caius. What the fuck is that? What is this? During the MPs of each turn, select a number of level 2 or lower normals from your deck equal to a number of level 2 or lower normals. This is the battle of the sports. So I'm going to your side of the field. Okay, so maybe I should destroy the monster plus another face down. Got it. Alright, let's go ahead and tribute summon. Tribute summon. Um. Celestia, activate the effect. My deck is already less than halfway done. Holy shit. Or sorry, more than halfway done. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm destroy this newly set card plus the monster so you don't special summon a monster in the end phase. Because that was probably a level 2 monster, right? It was. Okay, so this guy's deck does suck. Okay, he wasn't he wasn't joking around with the title. He, he does actually literally suck. Okay. Celestia. And then Aaron. Alright, down to 2300 and I'm basically going to win next turn. I also have Caius, so I can go just go ahead and tribute summon him. I'm down to 15 cards on my deck. Whoa. <laughs> the Wandering Doom. Why did you summon that thing in attack mode? What are you doing? What the fuck? Okay, I don't think, despite you having that title, that you're that much of an idiot. I'm pretty sure that face is a plan, so I'm going to mirror force you. I'm assuming you had a card that was going to, like, buff up your monster. I don't think you would have just ran right into it and basically be like, well, fuck it. Or did you really want to do that just for the effect of, what the hell's that card, Human Wave Tactics or whatever? That wouldn't make sense, though. I, I don't know. To, to take damage damage and whatever. Okay, so summon Caius. Uh, just to be perfectly safe, you want to banish that face down card, of course. What was that? Attack of the Cornered Rat. Okay. And I can get the exactly zero life points bonus. Attacking for 23, and that's game. Alright, there we go. I beat Nervin. Cool. 20 experience is what I got. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> wow. That was horrible. That shit was horrible. Yes, you lost. What the hell, man? You lost. Alright, let's go ahead and move to... Over here. Another Transcender. This one was level 21 from what I saw. Ooh, yes. Alright. We're gonna go first. Sweet. All right, uh, so I'm gonna start by, I'm not even gonna use Solar Recharge yet. I don't think it's worth it. I'm just going to summon Jane and I'm not even gonna set Bottomless because I'm going to, I don't wanna destroy it and I'm pretty sure you're not gonna beat over me. So I'm just gonna take the risk here and oh, nice. And I'm gonna use Heavy Storm next turn because obviously we're gonna play some cards and set some stuff down. Then I can set Bottomless next turn. I wanna save it. Terraforming, that's fine because that thing's gonna get destroyed next turn anyway. Unless you negate my Heavy Storm, of course, and that's a different story. Legendary Ocean is activated. Okay. God damn it, I could have actually... Oh, shit. Are you serious? Did you really just do that? Oh my god. Of course. Of course! The one time I don't set Bottomless, you actually don't set a card and you summon it! Alright, well, here's the thing. It's actually kind of a bad idea to use Heavy Storm this early, so... I got a different idea. I'm gonna summon Breaker. 
and use uh, its effect to destroy Legendary Ocean. Alright, now we're good. Enter battle phase. Wait, that thing is a... Holy shit, I forgot about that. That's right. 1700 attacker. My god. Okay, and then 16. Okay, do I really want to... Ugh. Don't set it. I really don't want to destroy my own bottomless trap hole, that's why, with my heavy storm. But this guy's not cooperating right now. Okay, that's fine. Another copy of it. That's gonna get blown up too. Set something. Set... Are you fucking kidding me? It's like this guy knows! If I would have said bottomless trap, well, there's no way he would have summoned that thing, right? There's no way. There's no way. I refuse to believe. Can you? Oh my god. This guy's a dick. Okay, seriously. This guy's a freaking asshole. Alright. When this card is not for the field to give her, except when this... Except when this... Perfect. Alright. That's all I need to know. I'm going to summon Lila. Then I'm going to enter battle phase here. And attack with Wolf. To you, so you lose 300 and the effect does not go off. Attack with Lila for 17. And then I'm going to use the effect in the main phase 2 to blow up Legendary Ocean. And this time I'm going to set Bottomless because I only have 200 defense. But just watch, so now this turn you're going to set a monster. Just watch. Just watch, oh, I know all of you are laughing over there watching this video right now. I know you're freaking hilarious with laughing right now. Like, seriously. Especially if this freaking guy literally sets a monster out of you. I know you're gonna die of laughter. Or you could also summon a monster that bypasses- That's just, that's what I meant as well. Again, this, this guy knew. This guy literally has Pegasus' ability. He knows what cards. Oh my. I can't. I can't with this guy right now. I seriously can't. This, this guy's freaking ridiculous. I mean, he's not a difficult opponent, but it's more so hilarious and stupidly annoying at the same time. The fact that this guy is literally playing me for a fool right now. Because he knows. This guy is literally cheating. And seeing what moves I got, don't use the effect. No. God damn it. I hate, I hate cheaters. I hate cheaters. Did you hear that, Transcender? I hate cheaters. Which means I hate you. Freaking dumbass. Okay. I know. I know. I know. I know. Yeah. You don't have to say it. Salvage. Okay, take your damn cards. Alright, so we took those two. Whatever, who are you summoning now? Are you summoning Spine Gilman? No, of course not, because you know I have a bottomless trap hole face down. That's why you sat. Freaking shitty. God damn it. Okay. Um, summon Crabons, I guess. Sure. I'm just glad this guy's deck was not that good, because if it was, I would have been destroyed, because this guy literally predicted everything I did somehow. Like, what the heck? Cannot be destroyed by battle with- well, in that case, use the effect. Banish each other. Alright, and then wolf, attack. And that's game. Alright, I beat this transcender. I beat him. Whoa, oh, I got a... Wait, I level up bonus. Yeah, that's right. And 300 experience points. Cool. Alright. Now I get to move some more spaces. One, two, three, four. And then Chief is going to be right here. Uh, his level 19 Chain of Punishment deck. And there's one more Transcender and then that's going to be it, I guess. Okay. Um, I guess one more thing I can do because I have like another minute or so is I actually could go into the shop and let's see what packs are available here I mean if I'm only- oh my god should I like limited edition pack see I want to buy some of those but there's absolute power force as well I really should have saved because I'm just gonna. I'm about to throw 3,000 DP away if I don't get a single Judgment Dragon or. Never mind, I got it. Okay, I got a Judgment Dragon, so that's good. That is one, though. I still need another one somehow. 
Um, but it doesn't look like I got Honest, which is a little unfortunate, but that's fine. At least I got a Judgment Dragon, so that's that's a start. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here that's really worth... Hmm, okay. Well, whatever. I'm almost at 100% for this booster deck. I'm literally just missing Honest and probably like just a few more things here. Actually, uh, should I should I go for that cheat thing? You know what? Nah, not right now. Not right now. I, I got a better idea because I know a lot of you want to see some other packs. Like you keep saying, nope. Actually, that's fine. That's fine. I could suspend game. I didn't mean to select suspend game, but I guess that's fine. What I'm gonna do? I'll just go to the shop here, I suppose. And I'm gonna buy some limited edition pack because people have been wanting me to buy a variety of packs, right? Oh, there's also what the heck? Okay, let's go here. Oh my god, this thing is expensive. 250. I better get some really good cars in here. I better. Okay, let's see what I got here. Sengen Jin, the Tyrant Neptune. Okay, Armored B. What the hell is this? One phase of monster when they have the attack of that monster until the end phase. Oh. Athena, Evil Dragon, Ananta, Lancer, Linworm. This thing is piercing, right? Yeah, it just is a piercing. Pretty decent. Marshmallow. That's actually good for the um, uh, the Monarch deck. Another good card for that. Red Eyes, Black Metal Dragon, Carrier Roy, da Dan Danapon, Gemini Imps. Uh, this card for hands. Oh. Oh, that one pretty, being a pretty decent card, actually. Pretty decent hand trap. Gravity Behemoth. Never heard of that one before. If it is not the first turn of the duel, and there are no cards on the field, you can almost summon this card without trip. If it is not the... F are you fucking kidding me? Game. <laughs> that with the nerf a card, just like that. Uh, Shield Crush, uh, that... Mm, we're like, a bunch of ritual cards, and okay, well, that's... That's what I got. What else should I buy? I don't really have that much left, though. Um, premium pack. Wait, how come? How was? What the? How did this thing just show up right now? You know what? Let's buy a couple of these. I can only buy three, but how in the hell did that pack just show up? I have no clue. I swear to God, it was not there before. Beta, the Magnet Warrior, Gamma, the Magnet Warrior, Alpha, I'm just kidding. Elector, Sovereign of Birds, Dark Lord, Ide, Array, whatever. Emperor of Lightning, King of Destruction, Zezex. Is this Yu-Gi-Oh? <laughs> I'm like, I'm looking at this and like, what the hell is this? There are some cards in here that I literally have never heard of before in my life. That's also because it's not like I'm a freaking expert, you know. All right, let's go back. So we bought we bought a bunch of new cards, so that's good, right? Definitely. All right, so if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I appreciate it very much. Thank you, and as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and a fantastic day.